fullest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life. Cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Attend unto my righteousness, O Lord. Give heed to my supplication. Give ear to my prayer, which comes not from deceitful lips. Let my judgment come forth from thy presence. Let mine eyes behold uprightness. Thou hast proved my heart. Thou hast visited me in the night. Thou hast tried me by fire. And unrighteousness was not found in me, so that my mouth might not speak of the works of men. For the sake of the words of thy lips have I kept the ways that are hard. Direct my steps in thy paths, so that my footsteps may not be shaken. I have cried, for thou hast heard me, O God, incline thine ear to me, and hear my words. Show thy marvelous mercies, O thou that savest them that hope in thee, from them that resist thy right hand. Keep me as the apple of thine eye, O Lord. Thou shalt shelter me in the shelter of thy wings, from the face of the ungodly that oppressed me. My enemies surrounded my soul. They enclosed themselves in their own fat. Their mouth has spoken pride. They that cast me out have now encompassed me. They set their eyes to look down on the earth. They seize me like a lion ready for his prey, and like a young lion dwelling in hidden places. Arise, O Lord, overtake them and trip their heels. Deliver my soul from the ungodly, thy sword from the enemies of thy hand. O Lord, from thy few, separate them from the earth and their life. And their belly was filled with hidden treasures, and they were satisfied with sons, and the remnants they left to their babes. But as for me, I shall be seen in righteousness before thy face. I shall be satisfied when I see thy glory. Unto thee, O Lord, have I lifted up my soul. O my God, I have put my trust in thee. Let me not be put to shame. Neither let my enemies laugh me to scorn. Yea, for none of them that wait on thee shall be ashamed. Let them be ashamed that transgress without cause. Make thy ways known to me, O Lord, and teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art God, my Savior. And on thee have I waited all the day long. Remember thy compassions, O Lord, and thy mercies, for they are from everlasting. Remember not the sins of my youth and mine ignorance. According to thy mercy, remember thou me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore will he set a law for them that sin in the way. He will guide the meek in judgment. He will teach the meek his ways. All the ways of the Lord are mercy and truth for them that seek his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon my sin, for it is great. Who is the man that fears the Lord? He shall set a law for him in the way which he has chosen. His soul shall dwell among good things, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The Lord is the strength of those who fear him, and his covenant shall be made known to them. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the snare. Look upon me and have mercy on me, for I am only begotten and poor. The afflictions of my heart are multiplied. Deliver me from my necessities. Look upon my lowliness and my trouble, and forgive all my sins. Look upon my enemies, for they are multiplied, and they hated me with an unjust hatred. Keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I have set my hope on thee. The innocent and the upright have cleaved unto me, for I waited on thee, O Lord. Deliver Israel, O God, out of all his afflictions. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions. Blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my iniquity and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done what is evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities and in sins, and my mother bare me. 
For behold, thou hast loved truth, the unknown and hidden things of thy wisdom hast thou made known unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be cleansed. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt cause me to hear joy and gladness. The bones that have been humbled shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and establish me with a governing spirit. I will teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall return to thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hast desired sacrifice, I would have given it. Thou wilt not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit. A broken and humbled heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good pleasure unto Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. <clears throat> when the women disciples of the Lord learned from the angel the joyous message of thy resurrection, they cast away the ancestral curse and elatedly told the apostles, Death is overthrown, Christ God is risen, granting the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thy proclamation has gone out into all the earth, which was divinely taught by hearing thy voice. Thou didst expound the nature of creatures, and didst ennoble the manners of men. O venerable Father of royal priesthood, entreat Christ God that our souls may be saved. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. O Theotokos, thou art the true vine, who has budded forth the fruit of life. We entreat thee, O Sovereign Lady, intercede together with the holy apostles, that he may be merciful to our souls. Blessed is the Lord God, blessed is the Lord day by day. The God of our salvation shall prosper us along the way. Our God is the God of salvation. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. <coughs> Amen. Thou hast revealed as a sure foundation of the church, granting all men a lordship which cannot be taken away, sealing it with thy precepts, O venerable Basil, revealer of heaven. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who at every season and every hour in heaven and on earth art worshiped and glorified, O Christ our God, who art long suffering, merciful and compassionate, who lovest the just and showest mercy upon the sinner, who callest all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us from all tribulation, evil, and distress. Surround us with thy holy angels that guided and guarded by their host, we may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. 
more honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption thou gavest birth to God the Word, true Theotokos, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. Through the prayers of our most blessed Master, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. O God, the Master, Father Almighty, O Lord Jesus Christ, Thou only begotten Son, and Thou, o Holy Spirit, when God had one power, have mercy on me, a sinner, and by, thy, by the judgments known to Thee, save me, Thine unworthy servant, for blessed art Thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. Save me, O God, by Thy name, and judge me by Thy strength. Hear my prayer, O God, give ear to the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen up against me, and mighty men have sought after my soul. They have not set God before them. For behold, God helps me, and the Lord is the protector of my soul. He shall reward evils upon my enemies, utterly destroy them in thy truth. I will freely sacrifice to thee. I will confess thy name, O Lord, for it is good. For thou hast delivered me out of every affliction and my eye has, has looked down upon my enemies. Give ear to my prayer, O God, and despise not my supplication. Attend to me and hear me. I was grieved in my meditation and troubled because of the voice of the enemy and because of the oppression of the sinner. For they brought iniquity against me, and in wrath were they indignant with me. My heart was troubled within me, and the fear of death has fallen upon me. Fear and trembling came upon me, and darkness has covered me. And I said, Who will give me wings like a dove? Then would I fly away and be at rest. Lo, I have fled afar off and have dwelt in the wilderness. I waited for him that should save me from faint-heartedness and tempest. Drown them, O Lord, and divide their tongues. For I have seen iniquity and strife in the city. Day and night it shall go round about her on her walls. And iniquity and sorrow and unrighteousness are in the midst of her. And usury and deceit have not departed from her streets. For if an enemy had reproached me, I would have borne it. And if one who hated me had spoken evils against me, I would have hid myself from him. But it was thou, O man of like soul, my guide and my own familiar friend, who together with me didst make our meals sweet. We walked in the house of God with one mind. Let death come upon them, and let them go down alive into hell, for wickedness is in their dwellings in the midst of them. As for me, I cried to God, and the Lord heard me. Evening and morning and at noon, I will recount and declare it, and he shall hear my voice. He shall deliver my soul in peace from them that draw near to me, for they were with me in great numbers. God shall hear and shall humble them, he that exists before the ages, for there is no change with them, because they have not feared God. He has stretched forth his hand for retribution, they have profaned his covenant. They were scattered by the wrath of his countenance, and their hearts drew nigh. His words were smoother than oil, yet they are darts. Cast thy care upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never permit the righteous to be shaken. But thou, O God, shalt bring them down to the pit of destruction. Bloodthirsty and deceitful men shall not live out half their days. But as for me, O Lord, I will hope in thee. He that dwells in the help of the Most High shall abide under the shelter of the God of heaven. He shall say to the Lord, Thou art my helper and my refuge, my God, and I will hope in him. For he shall deliver thee from the snare of the hunters and from a troubling word. He shall overshadow thee with his shoulders, and under his wings shalt thou hope. His truth shall encompass thee with a shield. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day nor for the thing that walks in darkness, nor for the mishap and demon of noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. <coughs> Only with thine eyes shalt thou consider and see the reward of sinners. For thou, o Lord, art my hope. Thou hast made the Most High thy refuge. No evil shall come upon thee, and no scourge shall draw near thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up on their hands, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the asp and basilisk, and thou shalt trample upon the lion and dragon. For he has set his hope on me, and I will deliver him. I will shelter him, because he has known my name. He shall cry unto me, and I will hear him. I am with him in affliction, 
and I will deliver him and glorify him. With length of days will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and into ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. When the women disciples of the Lord learned from the angel the joyous message of thy resurrection, they cast away the ancestral curse and elatedly told the apostles, Death is overthrown. Christ God is risen, granting the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, enthroned on high with the Eternal Father and thy Divine Spirit. O Jesus, thou dost will to be born on earth of the unwedded handmaid thy mother. Therefore thou wast circumcised as an eight-day-old child. Glory to thy most gracious counsel. Glory to thy dispensation. Glory to thy condescension, O only lover of man. Thou and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. As we have no boldness on account of the multitude of our sins, O Virgin Theotokos, intercede with him who is born of thee, for much more is the prayer of a mother able to incline the master unto kind-heartedness. Despise not the supplications of sinners, O pure one, for merciful and strong to save is he who condescended to suffer for us. Let thy compassions quickly go before us, O Lord, for we are become exceedingly poor. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the sake of the glory of thy name. O Lord, deliver us and be gracious unto our sins for thy name's sake. <coughs> holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All holy trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. The Lord of all accepts to be circumcised. Thus, in his goodness, he cuts away the sins of mortal men. Today, he grants the world salvation, while light bearing Basil, high priest of our Creator, rejoices in heaven as the divine initiate of Christ. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who at every season and every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified, O Christ our God, who art long-suffering, merciful, and compassionate, who lovest the just and shows mercy upon the sinner, who callest all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, Deliver us from all tribulation, evil, and distress. Surround us with thy holy angels that guide and are guarded by their host. We may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption thou gavest birth to God the Word. True Theotokos, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. Amen. O God, the Lord of hosts and author of all creation, who in thine ineffable and tender mercy hast sent down thine only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of our kind, and through his precious cross, hast torn up the record of our sins, and thereby triumphed over the princes and the dominions of darkness. Do thou, O Master, who lovest mankind, accept these prayers of thanksgiving and supplication, even from us sinners, 
and deliver us from every dark and deadly transgression and from all the visible and invisible enemies that seek to do us harm. Nail down our flesh with the fear of thee and let not our hearts incline to evil words or thoughts. Rather, wound our souls with thy love that ever gazing upon thee, guided by thy light and beholding thee, the eternal light that no man can approach, we may offer up unceasing praises and thanksgiving unto thee, the Father without beginning, together with thine only begotten Son, and thine all-holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Bless, Master. salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Metropolitan Tikon, for the honorable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the right reverend abbot of this holy monastery, Archimandrite Sergius, with all his brotherhood in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Country, its president, for all civil authorities and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy habitation, for every city and countryside, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord graciously accept on his heavenly altar this present prayer of thanksgiving from us, his unworthy servants, and in his compassion have mercy on us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our prayers may be pleasing in his sight, and that he will forgive the sins we have committed during the past year whether by word, deed, and thought, voluntary or involuntary, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That he will bless this new year with his grace and love for mankind and grant us peaceful times, healthful seasons, and sinless lives, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. He will turn his wrath away from us, which has been justly kindled against us because of our sins. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That he will free us from our slavery to worldly passions and destroy our love of evil habits, implanting in our hearts his holy fear. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That he will renew a right spirit within us and strengthen us in the true faith, filling us with zeal for good works and obedience of his commandments. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. 
divisions and factions within his church and everywhere plant right belief and piety, converting all who have departed from the truth and restoring them to his holy church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That he will deliver his holy church and every one of us from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, and from all enemies, both visible and invisible, blessing his people with health, long life, and peace, surrounding us with his heavenly host. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have Most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. Who keeps his faith for us? 
Thank you. 
joyous message of thy resurrection. They cast away the ancestral curse and belatedly told the apostles, Death is overthrown, Christ God is risen, granting the world great mercy. Enthroned on high with the eternal Father and thy divine Spirit, O Jesus, thou didst will to be born on earth, of the unwedded had made thy mother, therefore thou wast circumcised as an eight-day-old child, glory to thy most gracious counsel, glory. Condescension, O only lover of man. Thy proclamation has gone out into all the earth, which was divinely taught by hearing thy voice. Thou didst expound the nature of creatures and didst ennoble the manners of man. God, that our souls may be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou wast revealed as a sure foundation of the church, granting all men a worship which cannot be taken away, sealing it with thy precepts, O venerable basil, revealer of
heart, and the meditation of my heart shall be understanding. <clears throat> Can I now shall speak wisdom and the meditation of my heart shall be understanding. Uh, from the second epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to Timothy, let us attend. My son Timothy, be vigilant in all things. Endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, fulfill thy ministry, for I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight, I have finished my course, I have kept the faith. Finally, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord the righteous judge shall give to me on that day, and not to me only, but also unto all them that have loved his appearing. Brethren, beware, lest any man entice you through philosophy and vain deceit, according to the tradition of men, according to the basic principles of the world, and not according to Christ, for in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead in the flesh, and in him you are fulfilled, who is the head of all principality and power, in whom you are also circumcised with the circumcision made without hands, by putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ, buried with him in baptism, in which you are risen with him through faith by the operation of God, who raised him from the dead. And to thy spirit, the Alleluia, in the eighth tone, O God, be bountiful to us and bless us. Show the light of thy countenance upon us and have mercy on us.
Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. John did baptize in the wilderness, and preach the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. And there went out unto him all the land of Judea, and they of Jerusalem, and were all baptized of him in the river of Jordan, confessing their sins. And John was clothed with camel's hair, and with a girdle of a skin about his loins. And he did eat locusts and wild honey, and preached, saying, There cometh one mightier than I after me, the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to stoop down and unloose. I indeed have baptized you with water, but he shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, as it was told unto them. And the And when eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child, his name was called Jesus, which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover, and when he was twelve years old, they went up to Jerusalem after the custom of the feast. And when they had fulfilled the days, as they returned, the child Jesus tarried behind in Jerusalem, and Joseph and his mother knew, knew not of it. But they, supposing him to have been in the company, went a day's journey, and they sought him among their kinsfolk and acquaintance. And when they found him not, they turned back again to Jerusalem, seeking him. And it came to pass that after three days they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors, both hearing them and asking them questions. And all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. And when they saw him, they were amazed, and his mother said unto him, Son, why hast thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I have sought thee sorrowing. And he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? Wist ye not that I must be about my father's business? And they understood not the saying which he spake unto them. And he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was subject unto them. But his mother kept all these sayings in her heart. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. say with all our soul and with all our mind, let us say, Lord, mercy. O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Beatitude, our Metropolitan Tikon, for priests, deacons, and all other clergy, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the 
Right Reverend Abbot of this holy monastery, our commands, right Sergius, with all his brotherhood in Christ. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Again, we pray for this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord. And we pray for the blessed and ever memorable holy orthodox patriarchs and for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy habitation and for the newly departed Richard, newly de um, Colton, Evelyn, Andrew, Adrianos, Melissa, Constantine, Maria, Ariana, Anne, Dorothy, Vera, Olga, Matushka, Emily, and for all of our fathers and brethren, the orthodox departed this life before us who here in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Again we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, Metropolitan Tikhon, Archbishop Michael, Archbishop Mark, Bishop Alexis, Archimandrite Serge, Zygmunds, Leonti, Gabriel, and Cyprian, Archpriest John, Stephen, Alexander, Daniel, and John, for Hierom Monk Inakenti, for Priest Ignatius, Michael and Michael, Hierom Deacon David, Monks Nicodemus and Kirill, Rossmore Monks Michael, Stephen, Stephanos, George, Paul, and Michael, for Novices Andrew, Jeremiah, and Seraphim, Subdeacon Martin, Readers John, Hezekiah, Paul, Benedict, Richard, and Joshua, for Nun Ioana, Rasifor, Nun Anufria, Matushka, Catherine, Dorothy, Alexandra, Elizabeth, Familia, Gail, Dolores, Anastasia, and Rachel. For Mary, Judith, Anne, Patrick, Maria, Anastasia, Eugene, Patrick, John, Christopher, John, Matthew, Earl, Jim, Matthew, Eric, Jerusalem, Agnia, David, Mark, Olga, William, Kathleen, Natalia, Anne, Christine, Daniel, Samuel, Ekaterina, Derek, Cynthia, Mary, Jacob, Sonia, Reader, Mark, Michelle, Michael, Deborah, Diane, Tom, Zosima, Georgiana, Father Raphael, Peter, Peter, Andrew, Vincent, George, Marilyn, Korea, Martha, Constantine, Rachel, Wyatt, Graham, Ron, Lisa, Bridget, Gordon, Scott, Brian, Patrick, Sam, and Rose. For Elizabeth, Archpriest, Moses, Katerina, Afton, Hannah, James, Andrew, Rosalie, Lorraine, Katie, Nunziwana, and Sophronia. For Charlie, Andrew, DJ, John, Maria, Alexander, Christopher, Olga, Isaiah, Andrea, Arlene, Elizabeth, Nathan, George, Linda, Mary, Anne, Nina, Macrina, Nina, Stephen, Matushka, Elena, Anna, Tom, Katerina, Carolina, Justice, Sophia, Trey, and Anna, Christopher, Fotius, Evangelos, Vasilia, Alexandra, Carolyn, Gabriella, Robert, Allison, Rick, Stephen, Peter, Helen, Michael, Yana, Nina, Will, Alexandra, Gabriella, Lisa, Anne, Christian, Kathleen, William, John, Stephen, Jeffrey, Gigi, Philip, Vince, Anthony, Alicia, Archpriest Thomas, Micheline, Jennifer, Victor, Larissa, Diane, Dean, and Harriet for Theodore, Elizabeth, Nicholas, Matushka, Tamara, Javier, George, Don, Lilia, Matushka, Kathy, Jack, Nadia, Anastasia, Alexandra, Regina, Andrew, uh, Alexander, and Timothy, and for all the seminarians, faculty, administration, staff, alumni, trustees, benefactors, and pilgrims of this holy habitation and their families, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of
Catechumen. Let us, the faithful, pray for the catechumens that the Lord may have mercy on them. That he may teach them the word of truth. That he may reveal to them the gospel of righteousness. That he may unite them to his holy Catholic and apostolic church. Save them, have mercy on them, help them and keep them, O oh God, by thy grace. Bow your heads unto the Lord, ye catechumen. That with us they also may glorify in all honorable, majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto catechumens depart, depart catechumens, all that are catechumens depart, let no catechumen remain. Let us, the faithful, again and again in peace pray unto the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. We may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace.
Bishop of Washington, Metropolitan of all America and Canada, the Right Reverend Abbot of this Holy Monastery, Archimandrite Surgeon, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always thou endeavors unto ages of ages. Priests of the Diaconate Christ, the monastic community, the seminaries, the faculty, the board of trustees, for all of our alumni and benefactors, may the Lord God remember them in his heavenly kingdom. Always now and ever, not two ages of age, is suppressed in this country for all civil authorities, the armed forces, sick, the suffering, those who need a God's mercy, especially thy servants, monk Nicodemus, monk Kirill Ross, monk Stephanos, thy servants, Sarge Priest Daniel, Matuska Dolores, for Arlene, for Matuska Julia, for all those who have been asked to pray for. May the Lord God remember them in his heavenly kingdom always now and ever and unto ages of ages. The Orthodox depart this life before us, all those buried in their cemetery, especially the ever memorable servant of God, Archpriest Michael. May the Lord God remember them in his heavenly kingdom always now and ever and unto ages of ages. You and all Orthodox Christians, may the Lord God remember you in his heavenly kingdom always now and ever and unto ages of ages. <coughs> Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, in a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. Oh, I'm 
Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the Scriptures. And ascending into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead whose kingdom shall have. from the Father, who in the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified and spoke by the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sin. attend that we may offer the holy oblation in peace.
of the Holy Spirit, now and ever into ages of ages. Amen. In the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. And with thy spirit. Having remembered all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Precious gifts now offered and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Thou art God who loves mankind, having received them upon his holy and noetic altar above the heavens as a speech, <coughs> sweet spiritual fragrance, will send down upon us and return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. We may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. This for Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. This for Lord. All things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this for Lord. Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Grant this for Lord. Having asked for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God.
his will to be born on earth, of the unwedded Henry thy mother. Therefore thou wast circumcised as an eight-day-old child. Glory to thy most gracious counsel. Glory to thy dispensation. Glory to thy condescension, O beloved of man. Glory to thee, O our God. Glory to thee. Glory to thee, O our God. Sure. 
Charles Daniel Dodd, Kathy Kimberlin, Joseph Victoria, Matthew Justin, Mishpon Isaiah, Bishop Constantinos, Miranda Paisius, Miranda Praxia, Grandisa Markella, Hierantius, Father Anthony, Father Lazma, Justin, Father Paul, Father Mario, George, Father Sarah, Joseph John, Ioannis, Presbyterius, Cecilia, Diaconisa, Dionysia, Presbyterian, Arianna, Nicholas, Money, Yoda, Arianna, Victorious, George, Chris, George, Irene, John, Angela, Angela, Irene, Christmas, Stephanie, Pete, Sophia, Paul, Vasiliki, and all those who've been asked to pray for, and all those commemorated during the service, and hear our prayer which we offer in faith, without thy self and sin, whatsoever things you believe, asking, Receive, you will, because of this, though that we are unworthy, but trusting in thy mercy, grant thy blessings to all thy servants who mentioned in the service, to all those present to hear, and to all of our benefactors, who fulfill their good intentions, preserve them for the rest of their days in peace, health, and long life and safety. Hear us, O Lord, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Hear us, O God, our Savior, the hope of all the ends of the earth, and of those who are far from the scene, show mercy, show mercy, O Master, upon us sinners, for without a merciful God and love us mankind. To thee be Son of glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Master, Lord, our God, the fountain of life and immortality, the creator of all things, both visible and invisible, who governs the seasons and the years, and guide us all things in thy wide providence, wise providence. We thank thee for all the blessings thou hast poured out upon us during the past years of our lives. We beg thee, O bountiful Lord, bless this coming year with thy goodness. Direct our civil authorities in the path of goodness. Bestow thy heavenly blessing upon all thy people, health, salvation, and growth, and virtue. Deliver this holy habitation and seminary from every assault of the devil. Grant us peace and tranquility, and grant that we may always offer thee thanksgiving to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
remember that every day is a new beginning. It's not just the new year. Uh, it is always a time to begin again, to begin to pray again, to begin to follow Christ again, to begin to try to strive to be more Christ-like in our thoughts, to keep the commandments in our thoughts. We have most of the battle won. You know that, don't you? All in the head. New Testament's about how we think. It's about what's in our heart. It's not about just how we act and all that. I mean, it's real nice to act nice. However, it's better to be kind and to be truly kind of Christ-like on the inside first, which is the real challenge. I mean, it's pretty easy to be nice to people on the outside, isn't it? You can smile and kind of wave. Uh, but it's much more difficult to always bless, to be kind and to do good and to pray for all of the people in our lives, especially the people that we don't like. And they cause us difficulties and cause us sorrows. It's the great challenge of our time. But this is what it means to be Christ-like. In our thoughts, we think like Christ. Love, kindness, <laughs> blessing everyone. Enemies, friends, family, whoever it is. This is our task. St. Sophroni says that there's really only one thing that we need to do. He says to trust God and to give Christ the first place. <coughs> This is something that we do over and over again so that the new year reminds us that it's another new time to begin to give Christ that first place. And it's not something that's easy. It's very difficult and it's always, Christ is always displaced in our lives. You know, it kind of falls out of the way that we start to put ourselves first and other people first and then we think about the Lord. No, we need to put Him first to give Him the first place in our life at all times and to start again doing that again yet again in peace, praying to the Lord that he would help us to put him first. And if I put him first, that means you're first. And I put myself last, but that means I'm actually in a better position than I would have ever been to begin with. So everything always works out in God's economy, but it's up to us to trust. It's so essential to trust God as a choice. Each day, each moment, especially when we have fear and sorrow, we have to surrender knowing that God is the greater part. He's the greater active part in our lives, the greater worker in our lives. We're just a very small part. We can't solve the world's problems. The most important thing for us to do is to love people and pray for them. If we do this, we don't have to fix anybody. We don't have to solve any problems. If we love people and if we pray for them, this is a good beginning for all of us, enabling us to put Christ in that first place in our lives, to give Him the first place. So let us start again, all of us, me included, to do that today. Just for today. Don't worry about tomorrow later. I'll talk to you tomorrow about it. <laughs> for today, we're going to do it, okay? And this is our task for all of us. Let us trust God today. Let us give Him the first place today. Let us love our neighbor today anyway. Let us give thanks to God anyway for all things because this is the will of God concerning us in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. So today we have, of course, St. Basil's Liturgy, uh, Coffee Hour Fun, and Divine Liturgy. Everybody's welcome. Tonight is a vigil for St. Sarah from Lucero. The morning liturgy is at 6.30, no midnight office. And this week is Theophany, so on Thursday we have royal hours with uh, St. Basil's Liturgy, Vesperal Liturgy on Thursday at, starting at 8 o'clock. And then vigil on Thursday evening, 4.30. And on Friday morning we have liturgy, 8.40, with great blessing of water. So there will be a blessing of water on Thursday and on Friday, so there's two blessings of water. And probably some blessing in the lake at some point if it doesn't get too cold. We'll, we'll just TBA that. So God bless each and every one of you. Let us all pray for one another that God would grant us a new beginning and this new year. And God keep and preserve each and every one of us. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee, our God. I thank thee, O Lord my God, for thou hast not rejected me a sinner, but hast made me worthy to be a partaker of thy holy things. I thank thee, for thou hast permitted me, the unworthy, to commune of thy most pure and heavenly gifts. But, O Master, who lovest mankind, who for our sakes didst die and rise again, and gavest us these dread and life-giving mysteries for the good and sanctification of our souls and bodies, let them be for the healing of soul and body, the repelling of every adversary, the illumining of the eyes of my heart, the peace of my spiritual powers, a faith unashamed, a love unfeigned, the fullness of wisdom, the observing of thy commandments, the receiving of thy divine grace, and the attaining of thy kingdom. Preserved by them in thy holiness, may I always remember thy grace and live no longer for myself, but for thee, our master and benefactor, passing from this life in the hope of eternal life. May I attain to the everlasting rest, where the voice of those who feast is unceasing, and the sweetness of those who behold the ineffable beauty of thy countenance is unending. 
For thou art the true desire and the ineffable joy of those who love thee, O Christ our God, and all creation sings thy praise forever. Amen. O Master Christ our God, King of the ages, maker of all things, I thank thee for all the good things thou hast given me, especially for the communion of thy most pure and life-giving mysteries. I therefore pray thee, O gracious lover of man, preserve me under thy protection beneath the shadow of thy wings. Enable me even to my last breath to partake worthily and with a pure conscience of thy holy things for the remission of sins and unto life eternal. For thou art the bread of life, the fountain of holiness, the giver of all good. And to thee we send up glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Freely thou hast given me thy body for my food, O thou who art a fire consuming the unworthy. Let me not be consumed, O my Creator, but instead enter into my joints, all my members, my reins, my heart. Consume the thorns of my transgressions, cleanse my soul, and sanctify my reasonings. Make firm my joints and bones, illumine my five senses, nail down the whole of me to the fear of thee. Always protect, guard, and keep me from soul-destroying words and deeds. Cleanse me, purify me, and adorn me. Give me beauty, understanding, and illumination. Show me to be the dwelling of thy spirit alone, and not the dwelling of sin. May every evil deed, every carnal passion, flee from me as from a fire, as I become thy house through communion. I offer thee as intercessors all the saints, the leaders with the bodiless hosts, thy forerunner, the wise apostles, and thy pure and blameless mother. Accept their prayers in thy love, O my Christ, and make me thy servant, a child of light, for thou art the only sanctification and brightness of our souls, a good one. And to thee, our Master and God, do we send up glory day by day. O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, let thy holy body be my eternal life, and thy precious blood my remission of sins. Let this Eucharist be my joy, health, and gladness. Make me, who am a sinner, worthy to stand at the right hand of thy glory at thy dread second coming, through the prayers of thy most pure mother and of all the saints. O most holy Lady Theotokos, the light of my darkened soul, my hope, my protection, my refuge, my rest, and my joy. I thank thee, for although I am unworthy, thou hast made me worthy to be a partaker of the most pure body and precious blood of thy Son. Give the light of understanding to the eyes of my heart, thou that gavest birth to the true light. Enliven me, who am deadened by sin, thou that gavest birth to the fountain of immortality. Have mercy on me, O loving Mother of the merciful God. Grant me compunction and contrition of heart, humility in my thoughts, and release from the slavery of my own reasonings. And make me worthy, even to my last breath, to receive uncondemned the sanctification of the most pure mysteries for the healing of soul and body. Grant me tears of repentance and confession, that I may praise and glorify thee all the days of my life. For thou art blessed and greatly glorified forever. Amen. Lord, now lettest thou thy servants depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to enlighten the Gentiles in the glory of thy people Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All holy trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Thy proclamation has gone out into all the earth, which was divinely taught by hearing thy voice. Thou didst expound the nature of creatures, and didst ennoble the manners of men. O venerable Father of royal priesthood, entreat Christ God that our souls may be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou wast revealed as a sure foundation of the Church, granting all men a lordship which cannot be taken away, sealing it with thy precepts, O venerable Basil, revealer of heaven now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Steadfast protectors of Christians, constant advocate before the Creator, despise not the cries of us sinners, but in thy goodness come speedily to help us who call on thee in faith. 
hasten to hear our petition and to intercede for us, O Theotokos, for thou dost ever protect those who honor thee. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption, thou gavest birth to God the Word. True Theotokos, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. <laughs>